In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. How well do you know your friends? Choose wisely. Life and death decisions will be in their hands. Who do you think is coolest under pressure? Swipe left and right to shuffle through the cards. Swipe up on the one you want to play. One name came out on top. Meeker, 1031, possible hostage situation. Extreme caution advised. Suspect description matches the trapper. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. You must have a majority vote to progress the game. Play a takeover card to lock out your friends and seize control of a choice. You'll start with just one card. Earn more by completing searches and quick time events. For this choice, you can use your takeover for free. Why don't you give it a go? Just tap the takeover button during a choice to take control. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep the lamps on. Please! Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Whoever hits it first wins a takeover.
check upstairs. I got this one. Everyone must move their pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Okay, let's see how cool your friend is when they're behind the trigger. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Hands up! Hands up! I am not gonna say it again! Okay. This decision is down to the friend you chose as coolest under pressure. Not worth it. It's over. the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. The accused, Jonathan Finn, is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Who do you think is the most trusting? Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story.
am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Take it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. That's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie, for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Damn! Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? No. No, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but... They got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry, it'll blow over. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, we have a word in my office. Look, Marnie. I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nick, hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but... you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Knowing Jonathan Finn's about to make his exit is what gets me up in the morning, sir. <laughs> Better than a cup of coffee. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. 
But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty, sinning liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? Adam Jones? Adam was my friend at the orphanage. Things we'd been through together, who could blame him for killing them? You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No, no. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. No. He exists. Where is he? Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. Not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. This decision is down to the friend you voted as most trusting. Finn, stay back. I just want to talk. Ah, God damn it! Ah, oh, God, my face! Hey, hey! Settle down. They take it easy. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Lana, your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not gonna happen, ever. Jesus, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there.
Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Who is the most persuasive in an argument? Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Only the friend you voted as most persuasive can make this choice. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I'm just covering every possibility. And Judge wants this thing airtight. 
double airtight. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. Who would you describe as the bravest person amongst you? We at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising cane. And any one of us could have been next. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. I'm gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Search for the clues shown at the top of the screen. When you spot them, use your pointer to highlight them before the timer runs out. You'll win a takeover for every clue found. These clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Bye. 
Okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Only the friend you chose as the bravest can make this choice. Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Oh, crap. Oh, God! Oh, my God, get me out of there! Ah! Shh, shh, calm down, please. Hurry! Ah. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a hit and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. I'm sorry, Detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Or anything else we can help you with? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I... what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Uh... you know, I think I'll take a pass. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if anything comes up. Fair enough. Have a good one. Which one of your friends keeps calm when emotions are running high? A rat trap. Target number one. Undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. 
Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The Trapper had sewn explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was, huh, it was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen? And the real targets, the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Becky Marnie. Calling Becky Marnie. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling so late, but I've just been going over the case files and... Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure, hit me. I found some file photos of rat traps at the crime scenes. Yeah, that was the trapper's sick little calling card. We kept that detail out of the press. Do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. Well, I'm not trying to accuse the cops of anything and I know you were one of the responders too, so that's kind of why I was wondering if there might be something there, some grudge. You knew the other cops, right? Do you know if there's any reason to think that Finn might have targeted them? Honestly, I could think of a million reasons. I was in the third precinct, sure, but I got out of there as soon as I could. How do you mean? The place was a hellhole, at least back then. Drugs, bribes, you name it. Those were not good guys. Still? A lot of it cleaned up pretty soon after the Trapper killings. Interesting. Okay, well, thank you. You've been very helpful, Detective Marnie. No problem. And call me Becky. Thank you, Becky. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Responder showed up, body was rigged. Trap was down. Yeah. No. No, somebody has made a mistake. There's no way. I don't think so. Let me see. 
Stop. Don't let go of me. Becky, stop. It's Calvary. What? Before you go in, you need to know that the victim is Calvary. Oh, my God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And also Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. That's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Oh God, it's really him. Anything? <sighs> Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda.
Who do you think is the most loyal? Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out, and, uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. I'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's MO. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? Becky, come on. Oh, no, Tom, you come on. Uh, will you move, please? Only the friend who is most loyal can make this choice. I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fun. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense.
Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. Who do you think is the most honest? Yes? Miss Johnson, what do you want? Only the friend who is most honest can make this choice. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. No, ma'am, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter doing some research on the Trapper case. Mm hmm Do you have any idea why the Trapper might want to harm your husband? He did more than harm that son of a bitch. He killed him. Tore his damn throat out and thanked God for it. At least someone had the balls to put that scum in the ground. I would have liked to shake the Trapper's hand. Do me a favor. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. Is that all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm, well, yeah, could be, yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I'll say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. This is 609, in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height, dark hoodie. Who do you think is the most daring? Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay?
It looks like Adam Jones may have actually worked for The Undertaker. Wow. Far as I can tell, it seems to be after he supposedly died in that fire. That's... that's huge. So he's real. There's more. Someone was on my tail. What? Are you okay? Yeah. But they bolted the second I made him. I mean, it could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. Are you gonna help me out or what? <sighs> How's that? So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. So you're saying that this is, this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. Is all this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. It was a pretty good one, too. <sighs> Traps, of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop had get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Trapper's first target, he beat his wife too. The Undertaker. Another drunk. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. I guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Murder's murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing. 
not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops? He knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed, parents failed, system failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. If I've been hurt like Adam, yeah, I'd want them to pay. Yeah? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit, the evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is... something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. They went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Rominsky pay. Bitch. My God. The hostage was in on it. This is Officer 609. 10 We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. Center copy. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to take up the case. You gonna be all right? Only the friend who is most daring can make this choice. I think it's time we all got out of here. Hold up. I need to talk to you alone for a second. Just you. Felicity. Give us a minute. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Hey. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Goodbye. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. He's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out, serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. And... No. But it could work. No, you're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Look, there's, uh... Something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You could make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can, because you know it's the only way to catch him. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732, receive a request. Please stand by for confirmation. How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me.
do it. Becky? Hey, time to wrap it up. serial killer known as the Trapper has escaped from prison just days before he was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible for the deaths of numerous first responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous and any sighting should be immediately reported to the authorities. All right, I want to know what happened. I want to know now. You weren't in the room with him. He's a big guy. I doubt you could have done any better. And why didn't anyone see him leave? Becky, don't even try. This one's on you. Well, this is a goddamn mess, but we are gonna stay focused, and we are gonna get this son of a bitch back in custody. Tom, what's the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help them. Anything they need. <sighs> Becky, until we catch a break, I'm gonna need you working the case files. Sir, I think I could be a lot more effective out in the field. Maggie, why don't you just stick with the case files? Tom. I will handle this. So. What the hell's going on with your partner? I think she's in over her head, making mistakes. I don't know what's going on in Marnie's head anymore. Do you trust her? I don't know. Keep an eye out. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look.
Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Fits the pattern. Whoa. Finn was telling the truth. I found Rominski's playroom. Interesting. Nothing fun about it. And it seems like the father had a thing for call girls. Same as Calvary. Plot thickens. All right, headed back. Who do you think is the most cautious? Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, all right? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Detective Marnie. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you at home. Please. Come in. I can't believe how close I was to the... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and... My God. Don't dwell on it. You're alive, that's the important thing. Yes. Of course. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the undertaker. Hooker, same thing. Night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's, it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Back in 2012, when we took down Finn, he had a hostage, Daniela Cardenas. I remember. She, uh, relevant? I don't know. I just had a feeling out of a hunch. Anything more specific? No, not yet. I see. It's probably nothing. I see. I don't know, something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but the picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Daniela is another puzzle piece, a small one but important. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire, worked for The Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Only the friend who is most cautious can make this choice. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh. I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, he probably knew them. Thank you for your time. Still waiting on forensics from the Calvary crime scene. Feels like Simon missed something, or maybe I should go take another look. Eight twenty-three p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? Gotcha. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge.
I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. He's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You do? I have to look at this from every angle, Vicky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper that's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh God, please. Please, Maggie. Who is he? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. Who do you think is the most observant amongst you? One name came out on top. You still think it's me? Vicky, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. My case? You're the one who broke into a crime scene. I think we're both guilty of that. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them, and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom, and the hoodie guy comes out. 
Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. Maybe the Trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, Detective. You're safe with me. Only the friend who is most observant can make this choice. I'll cheers to that. Maybe the Trapper's working with Daniela Cardenas. She could have been the hooker with Calvary. Well, cops are all out looking for her, so I'm sure she'll be brought in for questioning soon. Maybe Finn's right, and Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice, sleep on it. Take all this to Sergeant in the morning. All right, see ya. Hello? I found Adam Jones. Finn? Where are you? I'm outside his house. I told you I'd find him. I'm outside his house right now. Wait, where? In town? Yeah. Uh, have you talked to him? I followed him home. He didn't see me. Some woman left his place a little while ago. Now he's just in there by himself. What's the address? 1712 Alameda Road. Of course it is. What? I'm on my way. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Lana. Check your email, now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Damn, you know... What? Marnie's been acting pretty odd. I hate to say it, but it kind of adds up. See you again, Daniela. Resisting arrest? Uh-oh. Somebody's in a bit of trouble. Suck my nuts. And hello. Finn's come clean. We know you want a real hostage back in 2012. Daniela, you've made some mistakes. But you were a victim. And your sister, I'm sorry about what you both went through. The system failed you. That made you angry, right? He wanted to make him pay. Is that what Adam Jones said he would do? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. And it makes you a co-conspirator. 
Doesn't look good for you, but if you help us, we can help you. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and Izzy, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know, he's like... a cop doctor or something. Detective Nelson, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of this. Now. Don't go anywhere. There's been an abduction. Judge Van Stone. Witness says it was Becky Marnie who took him. Who do you think is the most compassionate? She did to me. What did she put inside me? God damn it. She what? was a, who? Who's she? Was a a woman, a goddamn whore. What has she done? you, Simon. Adam? I fucking know. Impressive work. I'm almost sorry no one's gonna get to know how good of a detective you are. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. Every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred-foot radius, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop his heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. 
Now the clock's ticking. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? Only the friend who is most compassionate can make this choice. What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Nelson. Jesus, Becky, where are you? Oh, God. Tom. Are we got a tip that you kidnapped Judge Vanstone. Said you were hiding out at the Elliott Hotel. We are outside right now. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me. Please. Vanstone's, he's... He's dead, and, and it's all my fault. Oh, damn it. Two minutes. Then SWAT's coming in. Go. Now. Now you've fucking done it. Tom. Thank you. Close there, Tom. He's here. Adam's inside. Let's go get him. We gotta do this now. No. No, I'm going alone. You don't know what he's capable of. I said get out of here. All right, freeze. Go on. Be a hero. Can't hurt us now. Everybody who hurt us is already dead. Simon. You've gotten what you want, haven't you? You don't know what I want. You want revenge on the people who hurt you. And Johnny, he was never supposed to go down for this. Drop the knife. Just come in. Confess and it will all be over. You've got what you wanted. 
No, Detective Marnie. What we wanted was a future. We never had one. And thanks to you, we never will. Wait, 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 don't shoot. That crazy bitch is trying to kill me. Simon, on your knees, now. Please, please arrest her. She's crazy. Down on the floor, Hillary. Now. in a court of law. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Detective Marnie escaped the scene and then proceeded to invade the home of Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police. Detective Becky Marnie has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, has been arrested. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. We've heard an unconfirmed report that Detective Becky Marnie may have aided in the escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Jonathan Finn has been taken into custody and is reportedly cooperating with the investigation. Sources say he may have played a key role in identifying Hillary as a suspect. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the trapper has finally been brought to justice. He never suspected Simon Hillary. He fooled us all. Well, not all of us. Not my partner. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Marnie, she's a tough nut to crack, and yes, she's got a lot of baggage, but I should have trusted her. She was right. And what about the charges against her? The charges? I think they're bullshit. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago. So tell us, Mr. Jones, why did you do it?
Thank you.